One of the interesting mindsets that I'll see a lot of my clients get into when it comes to thinking about public cloud is they really don't think about the performance gains they can achieve. When it comes to performance, they're worried about there being a problem with performance in AWS. They don't think about the other side of the equation where compared to an on-prem infrastructure, they can have a much more high performance solution oftentimes. In this hands-on challenge, you'll build an active directory server in your AWS cloud using CloudFormation. I want you to create a key pair named KP Solution Architect, and then I want you to copy the AMI ID for the latest Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 base image in AWS. This is going to be fun. I absolutely love working with hugely powerful tools in AWS like CloudFormation. So let's jump in and see my video solution to your hands-on challenge. So the first task that we need to take care of is to create a key pair. And there's probably another way to get to where I need to go, but I always just immediately think of EC2 where I've created most of my key pairs from over the years. One of the reasons you may be turning to AWS for storage purposes is you want resiliency. And maybe it's resiliency that you would not be able to achieve with your budget and the technologies that are available to you on-prem. The great news is, thanks in great part to the region and availability zone configuration of Amazon's physical resources across the globe, you can get resilient storage with ease in AWS. 